well, this is the very first job I've done on the bus actually. So I thought I'd film it. I'm going along. I'm actually making my bus at the minute into my bit of a mobile office, hence why I've got a settee in there, recline settee, desk is going at the back. <laughs> Starting to pull chairs out. But one of the things I want to do is just put this window tint on. So I have gone for what was recommended, the active, let's have a look, active window tints. And this is a, I think what some of you guys have used in the um, this already, it's the uh, 5% uh, limo black film. So basically it only lets 5% of the light through. I don't think you can go wrong on these buses because it's not like a car in funny shapes. It's pretty much rectangular windows. I'm not going to do these top ones. I'll let a bit more light through them. I just want a bit of privacy when I'm working. So pretty much all rectangular. Um, so um, this this roll, I've got nine meters of it. And again, I think someone recommended that in one of the one of the forums. So it's nine meter long roll, and it's a one meter wide roll. So basically, um, the windows. Uh, pretty much 130 centimetres long that way and um, I think they're just a shade under the one metre high this way so uh, basically yeah it's one the one metre strip fits perfectly so what I've done first of all I've just uh, got the window lean and cleaned and dried off the window you need one of these squeegee things as well um, there is a kit you can get uh, there's a, a kind of an application kit which kind of has a sharp knife, a soft squeegee, some blades, some bits for tucking things in, you know, tucking stuff into the corners, um, a little very sharp sort of scalpel type knife and you're going to need some of this uh, uh, masking tape. And the reason you need the masking tape is just so you can peel this uh, apart, the, the sort of backing layer off it, I'll show you that in a second. So to get the backing layer off you get a bit of masking tape and then you put a piece on one side, a piece on the other. And then basically, as you, which is very hard to do, but as you pull these apart, very hard to do with one hand. All right, let's put the camera down, but as you see, as you pull it apart, it peels off the backing layer. So what you want to do now is, uh, now the window's clean, you just wet it with, um, basically I've just got an old squirty bottle with some water in, a little few drops of fairy liquid. And you just want to basically, you just want to squat your window. Like I said, this has all been cleaned off already. Wetter the better. Right, next thing you want to peel this backing off. Um, you're going to need some sort of table to cut, cut it on as well, basically, but I'm going to peel the backing off now and squirt. Um, onto the actual black film. Another useful tool you might find is one of these sort of scraper blades, the glass scraper, scrapers. And you get these blades, it's got the cardboard cover, these blades that go in it, basically just to raise a blade. But I used it to get these stickers off, you know, these emergency stickers, put a bit of a, you know, pressure under that and it'll just, it'll just peel off. Like that, you see, so really good uh, bit of kit that is. But also, I've uh, just squared some, squared some sort of window cleaning solution on to give it a bit of lube. But I'm just going over it and just gently making sure that there's no um, you know, little bits of debris stuck on the glass because that's going to. If you look over here, I didn't really do this with the first one. And the odd sort of rough patch there, you can't see it on the camera, but it just feels a little bit rough. A little some bumps of dirt and whatnot on it. So before I actually clean the windows, I'm just going to just go over it all with this scraper just to make sure there's no, no lumpy bumpy bits. It's even better if you just get the blade like that. Be very careful to cut yourself, but that's just going at a, a slight acute angle like that. It's quite, quite flat to the window, but just scraping that along like that. It's really good at finding the little bumps. Make sure, like I said, you put some window lean on or something just to make sure it's, it's uh, not going to scratch the glass, a bit of lubrication. Right, so uh, what I found useful was to just uh, lay it out on the table. I've got an old picnic table here, as you can see. Um, I just, uh, when I'm cutting it, basically get it roughly to length, measure it, but before I cut it, <coughs> basically just get it level, parallel, I should say, with the, with the edge of the table, providing you've got a square table on the edge and then put some masking tape and just stick it on either end 
and then when you cut your length and in my case I've just got some slats in here so I can cut it to length using this as a guide and I'm going to get a nice square finish on the end there and keep the roll in the box as you're pulling it up obviously that's keeping crap off the floor and stopping it rolling everywhere so uh, yeah that's how you do that so you can see I've got it pinned down with a bit of masking tape at each end and this edge is parallel to the table I'm just going to run the knife across this craft knife now cut it across and that should be that there's only peeling the cellophane off, off of the film um, keep the film at the bottom and the cellophane at the top it just comes off lots of places rather this is all crumpling up which is meant the other one, this is crumpled up the back's just crumpled it's actually keeping this a lot straighter now and obviously that's been thrown so yeah that's the way to do it I've just roughly got one piece on what I found I had to do was basically um, yeah, yeah, basically put it on the table, peel half the backing plastic off the stuff, peel half it off you can spray it with more of that on the actual film and then get the top half sort of roughly on stuck on and then pull the rest of it off it seems to be how to do it and then we've got to switch it all out and get it all flat so once the <coughs> film's stuck on you took the pit, peel all the backing off and the top half um, you know, work the back in and stuck that on Peel the backing off the bottom half before you start squidging it out. Just basically go over it again with some uh, more soapy solution, and you can uh, get one of these and start the process of squeegeeing out from the middle to the end. Squeegee device, just go right across. So it does the trick gradually. Just another sort of just squeezing it along and get all the air bubbles and all the water out really. You want to make sure all the water's out so the glue set properly. Trick with it. when you've trimmed all your edges what you want to do is just get your blade with a bit of paper towel and go right to the edges and squeeze all that last few drops of water out you don't want any water if you can help it the less water the better at this stage now just trying to get it all out from around the edges and that's pretty much it really this is the difference you can still set with it quite well as you can see from my scruffy yard but it makes a big difference. If I go to the other side and show you what it looks like trying to look in, so you can see it's sort of completely back compared to the clear. You can see just reflections now. The difference? That one's not done.